Hi, I'm Jo. Welcome or welcome back to the Beauty Babes Arena. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I created this cool, fun, and trendy rainbow under eye eyeshadow look. Let's get started. My skin has already been prepped, so I'm going right in with my foundation to even out my complexion. Today, I'm using the YSL New Bare Look Skin Tint. This look is inspired by the talented at Nezra Looks. I'll leave her IG handle in my description box below. Go check her out. I wanted to see how or if this eyeshadow placement would suit me. Similar to my lack of eyelid space, I don't have as much to work with under my eyes either, but I'm determined to give it a go. To conceal, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way concealer to hide any imperfections below my eyes and eyelid, as well as highlight the center of my face. For contour, as usual, I'm using my West Men Atelier Face Trace Stick in the shade Truffle. I'm obsessed with this product, it's so good. I'll blend everything in with my Beauty Blender. Then, lightly dust some setting powder in my T-zone. To set my lids, I'm using the Viseart number no. 10 Warm Matte, taking this color all the way to the brow bone. Yes, I'm still going to apply an eyeshadow primer under both my eyes. I need these shadows to apply smoothly and last longer. This one is the KVD Shake Primer. Next, I'm using my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk as a base to really make these bright colors pop. I'll begin placing it in my inner corners, below my eyes, and the outer corners. This formula is a bit tacky, which allows the eyeshadows to adhere perfectly. Make sure you blend it out so that it's nice and even and the shape is well defined since this is the blueprint for where you would place your colors. I'm using the Jeffree Star Jaw Breaker Palette to nail this look today. With the shade Gumdrop, I'll highlight my inner corners. This is one of the few colorful palettes that I own. These pigments are really good quality. I'll place the shade Brain Freeze next to the color that I previously laid down. In a similar fashion, I would take this green shade Sour and place it next to the last color. You want to have a beautiful blend between each shade. Wherever they meet, a gradient is created with each added pigment. Next up is Woe, which is a vibrant sunny yellow. Followed by this beautiful coral shade. I'm using a smaller blending brush as I approach the outer corner of my eye to ensure precise placement. To make the outer corners pop, I'm using my final shade Bubblegum, blending upwards and outwards to achieve a winged shape. With a clean brush, I'll blend the base of the colors for a soft, blown-out effect. This is the final look. Thank you so much for watching and to catch you next time in the Beauty Babes Arena.